Hey, hey, it's Charlie Ray. Welcome back to my channel. So these are the three skeins of Woolies yarn that I am going to be using to make this hat. And da -da 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 -da. this is a size six, super bulky yarn. It says to use a nine millimeter hook, um, the N13. I am going to be using this seven millimeter hook. So, um, let's get started with the hat first. The person that I'm making this hat for has like big hair and it's only getting bigger. So, um, what I wanted to do is take this same form and make it a little bit bigger. So, um, I measured out um, from top to bottom uh, because I feel like that little bit more is probably enough and then I will be adding on the um, binding I mean not the binding but the ribbing after that which will have um, a, a, an additional like one or two rows to the ribbing but um, all, then to make it slightly bigger than this <laughs> ribbing is here. So um, it's about 22 um, centimeters from here to there. And let me check the inches for you guys. So it's about eight and a half inches. And we're gonna need that number. And then going across this way, it's 11 inches or um, 28 centimeters. This is about um, just over four, maybe four and a quarter, almost four and a half. But I want to make it about five or maybe even longer depending because this is a much larger yarn um, than this. So um, for the inches, that is one and about three quarters. So I will make it at least like the two inches, but again, probably a little bit longer. So this is going to be a super simple pattern that you can adjust to your own needs and um the 22 centimeters or eight and a half inches from top to bottom we are just going to double so uh, let's get started with that first of all so we still need our ruler okay so you're just going to start with your standard slip knot And then you're gonna chain however many stitches you need to get the width of the hat. So this was 11 inches or 28 centimeters, or you can make whatever size you would like. Um, I'm going to go just a little past that again um, because she needs like a larger hat. So I'm going to go for either 30 to 32 centimeters. I'm gonna see um, how it looks after I start getting the stitches made and um, or in inches, maybe almost nine inches. And like right at the um, 30 inch mark. I'm sorry, <laughs> 30 centimeter mark. Okay, so we can put this away for now. So now that I have it the length that I want, I'm going to make one more stitch and then I'm going to single crochet in the first stitch and in each stitch going down. Okay, so we have completed this whole first row and we are simply going to make one additional stitch, turn our work, and we are going in the back loops only and we're gonna head in the other direction, making a single crochet in the first stitch and each additional stitch going down. Okay, so once you finish the third row, this is what it'll look like. And you basically are going to 
keep working back and forth the single crochet stitch until um, your work reaches double the height that you want so the hat that I showed you on um, this hat it was uh, 22 centimeters uh, this way or eight and a half inches so um, you would double that so it will be 17 inches or 44 centimeters and I am making mine a little bigger um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these rows done and I'll come back once I have this whole length done that will probably be tomorrow it's like 4 30 in the morning and um, it's time for me to get some sleep so I'm going to work on this probably a couple like four or five more rows before I go to sleep and I will probably finish it up tomorrow um so I'll see you guys then bye okay guys I am headed to bed but I did a few more rows and and as you can see I am right at about halfway up the first side um because I'm doo -doo 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 -doo. and then this one so yeah like yeah, roughly. So this is what it looks like so far. Um, and I'm just going to, um, like I said, um, work on this some more tomorrow. Um, I have some other work to do, but when I take my breaks, I'm gonna work on this. And it really did not take me very long at all to get this far up. I mean, I know it's not exactly a whole lot, but I'm just saying like, I should be able to get through the rest of the length of this tomorrow and then um, hop back on with you guys to show you the next steps. So the next night I was trying to get this crocheted up and I ran across this um, little tie together. It can be frustrating, but I decided not to bother trying to cut it off now. I'm just gonna keep going and do it tomorrow. Okay, so the rolls have reached the 17 inches or 44 centimeters that I was shooting for. And I was sure not to um, cut this side off. So, I'm gonna use this side as the right side um, because there was a because um, this is here and I'm gonna cut this off but still I'm just gonna use this as the inside so I'm gonna put the ends um, <laughs> I'm gonna put the right side inside so on the wrong side I'm going to take this yarn and cut that off so I'll be using that to sew this side together and then I'm just gonna cut another piece and sew this side together okay so now that we have um, the edges sewn together we're gonna flip it right side out by the way guys the amount of yarn that I cut off okay. to sew together the side was not enough I somehow only did two times the length make sure you have at least three times the length to sew that side okay, together so here's what we have um, so I am going to attach my yarn um, at one of the corners. I'm going to just start with this one. And I'm going to pull that through and then do tighten it up like that and then then I'm just going to do a front post back post I'm gonna start off and chain two that's gonna count as my first back post and then I'm going to go into the single crochet come around like that pull that through and then just double crochet as normal so I'm going to continue doing um, front post back post for the back post I'm gonna come back around here sorry that's just the little string um, anyway pull that through and then double crochet as normal so I'm going to continue this way all the way around and then we are going to slip stitch at the end you can also um, there 
you can also um, do a different kind of ribbing if you would like or however many rows of ribbing you like I'm not sure how many it's going to take me to get the length I want um, if I'm guessing maybe three or four but I'm gonna keep working on this ribbing and I'll come back and show you guys how that came out so there's something just foresty and playful about this hat that I really like and even though my hair is not as big, I found that I could still wear the hat and it looked pretty okay. So I think I'll make one for me too. Well, I enjoyed having you here. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.